This is a cat and mouse automaton. Um, years ago I went to an exhibition of automata at uh, Newcastle upon Tyne. I wanted to create one myself just to kind of see how they worked and how they went together. I started off band sawing thin ash sheets um, but I underestimated the degree of accuracy needed to produce small objects and the kerf didn't really uh, leave a clean finish and I should really have done this on the table saw. However the edges cleaned up pretty easily and the structure of an open box came together fairly quickly. The individual components for the cat and mouse were drawn out and cut on the bandsaw and tidied up on the sander and mostly by hand. Um, I used toothpicks for the pivoting parts and used one drill to create very tight holes and a second that was just snug but allowed movement. I got shape uh, ideas from the internet as I am definitely not an artist. The mouse proved the most difficult component as it was very small and pretty fiddly. I also needed a tail which I made from a thin gauge panel pin. Uh, I used metal clamps when gluing the sandwich and they unfortunately cut into the wood through the plastic sheathing. From end on you can see how nicely balanced the cat was. It has three legs and a tail but you don't notice one leg is missing from the cranking side. By adding rubber bands on the cam that drives the mouse you can change the speed of rotation meaning the mouse can be caught or missed on every turn. Alternatively it can be set just slightly differently so the mouse is only caught after what appears to be a random number of turns of the crank which makes it more of a game. A little rough around the edges perhaps but a cheerful addition to the shelf.